Well, good evening. Um, I'm Bob this is Geek from Shop, Dark City, the world's first free alternative yes, media stream. Free software uh, in the sense that it's been made like by the community, for the community, and being developed by the community. I've got Prager on with me, I've got our Robo Hippie, and I've got Chris Sparky. Uh, Robo, Chavez, Chavez, button me. Right, okay. This was supposed to be the Geek Show, where we were going to get uh, a few of the people who've been working behind the scenes up front on the microphone and discussing what's what's been going on. You know, on, on behind the actual scenes, you know, and by that, I mean the software that's been put together on a free platform, and that's on KD Studio um, on Ubuntu. That's what we've used as the main platform for the new server. Now, this is the, uh, the world's first. Nobody's done this before. It is a first. So, really proud of that. Uh, we didn't know that, of course, when we set off with this little adventure, whether it could be done or not. Uh, the only piece of software we are currently using, which would could be considered not to be totally free, um, and over the last few weeks, what's gone on with that, uh, I've got to agree to it all heartedly now, um, regarding that Skype. Um, the program we're using at the moment. So we got workarounds for that, um, pretty much immediate workarounds, where we could use that um, a very old machine we've got, which is pretty much redundant now, and uh, perhaps patch them through. And that's we're, we're still looking at that and working on it. But what we're actually at currently is turning our two servers into three servers. Um, we're short of cash at Dark City. We always have been. Keep tundling along. We thought we'd work something out, out of pay for it, hey, but not everything works out as you, uh, as you expect. <laughs> Goddamn bitcoins. No, 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 we're doing all right. We're doing all right. But what we're going to do is, or what we're looking at doing is now, is like uh, what we call an image in, in the Windows platform. I'm just looking at this now uh, on how to do it because I'm really brand new to the Linux platform. We need a backup server, and our backup server is an old mining server, which we used to use for mining bitcoins. Now, the processor, the well, the processor's okay, but there's um, like a clip that holds the heatsink on top of the processor, and it's broken. It's actually broken at the motherboard. So lying on, it, lying on its side, it's fine. There's no problems at all. Um, but recently, it got stood up. And, uh, yeah, it's become a little bit flaky now. It doesn't like to do too much. And then it's, it's got a heat problem there. I might be able to sort it out. But it's kind of been put together with sticky tape and brown paper for quite a while. Uh, but I'm sure I can solve that. So what we're going to do is we're going to take another hard drive and we're going to copy or an image of the server we're using now. So we can use that as a backup server, and then we can continue to do development on that. Uh, with Mumble, we're looking at Mumble. That was the last thing that Dan got up to. But we are short of time, um, in the sense, not that we're short of time because we're in a rush, but we haven't really got the time to coordinate. Dan wanted Jim uh, robo um to see how it's all installed, um, but we just haven't been able to get Dan and Jim free at the same amount of time to be able to do that. Uh, so we are still going to do that, of course. But uh, in the meantime, uh, we've been working for a, a workaround. We always look for a workaround because uh, we do want to stay now on the Linux, but we do need a backup. And at the moment, we're having a backup onto Windows. So it's a little bit half-hearted. If we're going to be as free as you can be, Let's get it like that. We're going to be as free as you can be currently on the internet. Yeah, then, then you know, we, we don't want to be back, being backed up by the Microsoft platform because obviously that's not a free platform. Right then, geeks, go on. I think we're live and everything should work now. Yep, we are live. Um, what's, what's this? Consider running Kali on your server. I'm presuming it doesn't mean Kali. That's, that's someone who hasn't read fully into what Kali is. It's a new backtrack distribution of Linux. And it's actually single user. So, uh, if, well, for a server, you can be single user anyway. But, um, but it's designed for penetrating other networks and so on. Really. It's, very it's got a lovely name, though. 
got a, it's a very uh, nice bit of kit actually I was reading about it um, and, and I, I was clued up enough to know what uh, the jargon meant I could interpret the jargon and it really does look like a, a nice distribution um, yeah well worth looking into it's all uh, it's all user sort of customize you can customize it and you know I just like it when it works it's really nice when it works <laughs> so on that um, server uh, the main program I suppose that's sitting on top of it we're, we're currently using um, but of course this may become obsolete we want to use um, we're a radio station and, and the piece of software we're, uh, I'm talking about is internet DJ console IDJC great little bit of kit but the developer um, has no intention or, or never had any um, thoughts of it being used as we are using it um, to actually run the station through. And so we, we, it has no scheduler, there's no timer on it, if you like. It, it, you know, we can't set it to do things by, by time. However, you can actually set schedules up in, in Linux, and Dan's been doing a lot of work with that uh, and got that to work. We have tried it, it does work fine. You know, do this at a certain time, it will play this playlist. Um, but that's has to be all set up manually at the moment. So what most people would see when they go to uh, an internet radio console that they're renting, basically, server space off some corporation, um, they have a nice front end. Uh, buttons, press this, you know, put your tunes in here, start the show, microphone live, open call too. Uh, of course, ours isn't like that. Uh, ours is basically a, a, a computer um, on Linux, which is connected to the internet, I'm um, streaming what I'm saying right now via Skype up to the caster server. It's really quite simple technology. Uh, what we've actually, how we've managed to achieve this, where other people have, have failed, besides a lot of of getting the right programs to work with one another on Dan's side, uh, removing little bits and putting little bits in, and configuring this and configuring that. The main reason we've managed to get it to work is because we've sacrificed the audio from that machine. It has no speakers. It has no microphone. It, 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 those inputs are, are not working. What's actually been done is it's been patched into... The audio has been patched directly through. So what it hears, what, what it hears, it, it, it immediately patches to the stream through uh, Internet DJ console. Like I say, there's good parts with that. Uh, I hope it doesn't become obsolete. I really like using it. I hope they do actually decide um, to put some some form of scheduling in that, um, because otherwise we have to kind of go back a level uh, and use um, yeah a less graphical interface, I suppose you'd call it. Now there is a front end being written. Prasn is actually working on that, um, which will give you all the bells and whistles um, that you can work on. So a lot of people, when we say a server, they think we mean like a data server. It, it isn't. Um, literally, it's a machine um, that's a computer that's sat there with the programs that we require on it. Quite simply, it's not doing anything else. So it's running Internet DJ console. Uh, it's running Skype. Uh, and they've been... Uh, it's running Jack, uh, looped. It needs to be looped into... Oh, Alice. It's not called Alice, is it? What's it called? Alice. Alsa, yeah. uh, into Alsa. So we're, we're looping uh, either is it Jack into Alsa or Alsa into Jack. <laughs> anyway, that's how we're doing it. That's how we're doing it, basically. That's how it works. Now, we can all enter this, not all of us, but there's a few of us, what we call the producers, uh, can enter that machine and we can get on and we can put files on it, we can set up the shows. Um, yeah. So a big thank you as well while I'm at it to the people at Jack and Alsa and uh, Internet DJ Console. Uh, also Shampoo. Uh, shampoo was another one which we were going to use in the earlier days, but um, it just it needs more development. Uh, it needs more development. So yeah, um, that's currently where we're at. We're limping on one server. We do need to get this other server up and running. 
Uh, we have got kind of a temporary work round, as I mentioned. Um, yeah, and uh, then um, yeah, we will be, like I say, not half-heartedly. But as far as I'm concerned, well, at that point, once we put Mumble uh, onto the, uh, like I say, the, the machine we're using now, the one I'm complaining about, the one I can think, think I can fix, we can put Mumble on that machine with um, uh, Skype or Mumble or VoIP, something like that, which we can connect then directly into the Linux. So we'll have a full Linux radio station and casting and, 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 and transmitting and all that, doing its thing. And then we will have a multi-platformed um, telephone exchange. Uh, so then we can accommodate everybody. If you want to come in on VoIP, or you want to come in on Mumble, or you want to come in on your Trumbull Mumble, pff, then you can do Tele it, hopefully. Oh, and the telephone as well, yes. Yeah, that will also work as well. And I'm looking forward to the telephone. That'll be fun. And, and we just discovered about inserts on IDJC as well. That could be useful. I, 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 yes, I need to go back and have a look at, at some of the paperwork because I, I, I have used an insert and I put an insert in the other day and I thought that is brilliant, but oh. now I can't, I can't, they can't, I can't do it. They're there, but it just doesn't let me. So good fun. It really is good fun. Um, like I say, a bit tiring and stuff. I could do with a week off on the beach. So if you sat there and you've got a nice beach villa and you want to book me a flight, you, you're welcome to do that at the moment. Uh, I, I wouldn't refuse uh, a couple of months on the beach in Goa. Uh, I really wouldn't. And we can always Skype into the server and keep the shows coming. Oh, so yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's the cool thing about it. it, it, it get, the more people we get and the bigger, the more the crew grows, uh, the more self-contained it gets. The idea yeah. is not to have these... Once we get these two servers, server one and the backup server, there wants to be three, really. Ideally, but you know, we're little, we're all scratching and, and, and scrimping to keep things going. So we, we'll do it, we'll get there, but might not be as quick as some expected. Uh, and if you do want it quicker, just like I say, hit the donation button, say server, uh, but please put on what it's for, because if you don't put server on it, we'll, we'll give it to Rick Simpson for the cannabis stuff. So just be aware of that. Um, but if you do want to help out, you can do that. Um, and what we'll get that, we'll, the idea is there'll be three. Um, there will be, uh, and they'll be at separate locations. There can be more than three, of course. Uh, but you've got the main one, um, there's the backup, and then the third one is actually copying everything that's been put on the first and the second, if you like. Uh, it's like a mirror. Uh, they'll all be mirroring one another. Now, now, the idea of doing this is, if one of those machines gets fails, has a hardware problem, or or, you know, it gets hacked in, because <laughs> we have, he has had a go already, that was quite funny. So, yeah, if something goes down with one server, then another server at a separate location would immediately take over. It really is simple. We've, I've already got that all worked out. We've done it before. It worked really well. So, yeah, you, you know, it's it, 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 not necessarily, you know, New World Order hacking or attack or psycho, you know, mind meld, laser gun. Right, you know, none of that really, but you, you know, the internet goes off. Do you know, <laughs> the power cut, or, or I had lightning today and we went off twice. So, ideally, there another one would have clicked on from another location, and that's the idea of it, or my original idea. It's how the internet was made in the first place, was it was designed to have redundant nodes on it and, and to route around those nodes, and there's no reason why the why our service, which I'm, I must agree, I'm sure we could provide an even better service if we're on a beach somewhere in, <laughs> in uh, south of Portugal or Spain or India. Yeah. Yep. I, I do better. Me and me and Arthur would have been mates. Mister Mr. Arthur C. Clark, the the conceptualised the communication satellite, and when he gave birth to the internet. What, um, other than Tim Berners-Lee? Uh, Arthur C. Glatt, uh, perceptualised the communication satellite, yeah. Yeah, not, not, not just the mysterious world of Arthur C. Clark, as, as you know, he, he, was, he was probably most well-known for, uh, the crystal skulls and, you know, the Mayan pyramids and stuff, this unexplained, you know, he did. Come along, way. Come along, oh, okay. 
was Arthur C. Clarke into Crystal Skulls. Hmm, yeah. I never knew that. He worked with uh, quite closely with the Crystal Skulls with a lady called Kathleen Murray. Uh, she lives up in the Rhine in Scotland. Rhine, is it? The Rhine in Scotland. Really nice lady I've met, Kathleen. Uh, she's a really nice lady. Little petite Scottish woman. She says Q. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, really nice lady. And she wrote, you know, what was the book? She's been researching it for ages. She had a really way out trippy experience with Crystal Skulls. Her, um, is it, is it called, it's Crystal Skull Consciousness, is it, the, is it the spark of creation? It could be. Um, Crystal Skull Consciousness, the spark of creation. Yeah, I'm apparently misquoting it, but it's definitely by Kathleen Murray. And, uh, yeah, she worked, uh, she was the lady who worked with the 13th, first lady to come out, come up with these 13, uh, this 13th consciousness created by, uh, 12, I think it was astrological points. Uh, converging into this one place, the place what we call Earth. Pretty hoopy stuff, man. I suppose it's like DMT without DMT. <laughs> it's a good way, then. Yeah, we're coming a long way, aren't we? Computers, the internet. Uh, I remember, well, it must be 20 years, maybe 25 years ago, on the IRC with my. Uh, a mate of mine at the time, Alistair, don't know what happened there, he turned into a mason. It's just weird, isn't it? It's strange, isn't it? The world. The world. He's into Alistair Crowley. He's into Alistair Crowley. He's like, oh, yeah, man, magic and all that, the Masonic Order, they've lost all their power. And, Do you know? Taught me all about it, and then become one. It's really weird. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, be careful. You may turn into that that you hate the most. I was wondering about uh, Dan, Dan Bodini and, and that as well. You know, he's talking about all this stuff, the Illuminati believe this and the Illuminati believe that and the Illuminati believe something else and I believe that they believe all this stuff and they believe it seriously and, and maybe I believe it. I didn't know whether he was saying he believed it or whether he didn't believe any of it. Well, maybe he believes it. Well, I, I know from my own experience, the internet for me, um, I mean, a lot of kids are put in front of the, of the television when they're growing up, um, or the, you know, they, they grow up. That becomes like the parent, doesn't it? You know, nowadays. Yeah. Uh, nowadays, it's the PlayStation and stuff like that. Um, but you know, I, my, I didn't really get that kind of a childhood. So for me, it, it, it still works, but in more of my adult life, um, that um, you know, the telly doesn't hurt you. The telly doesn't shout at you. The telly doesn't rip you off. The telly doesn't... And I mean, I know we all know through the, the, the massive psyops, it does. Uh, but for me, that's what computers are like. You know, they, they don't actually give me any grief. They don't have a bad day. They don't, you know, they're not you make one day and turn up giving you grief the second. They're not like that, you know. And, and so I have, um, you know, my computer every day when I switch it on, it's like, hello. <laughs> you know? Um, you never know, you never know quite... You always expect it to do what... And for the majority of the time, it does. Uh, if you keep them serviced and, you know, even yeah, the dodgy you know. Sound like women. Yeah, they're, they're absolutely lo logical, except when they don't fucking work. <laughs> oh, yeah, but normally that, that's, I mean, 99% of the time, you know, you hear people, oh, I've been hacked by the New World Order. You know, you did it yourself. You know, you yeah, yeah, so. I mean, the night where we, where the, the, the hacker jingle comes from, we, um, we, 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 it was the day before, somebody hadn't actually hacked us, but we had had somebody try to log on to the server repeatedly, over and over again. Um, in fact, from three separate IPs, um, repeatedly try to crack the password. Uh, that's what actually happened. Nobody got yeah, off. Yeah. Um, um, the, didn't we have the anonymous takes in the chat room yes. as well this, at the oh, same yeah, time? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, no, 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 that was two days later the Turks came in. Uh, um, but we had, we basically panicked, I suppose. <laughs> and, and Saddam went on and off the Windows server. I went, is that you? And he went, yeah, it is. And then came off as I went on. And that confused the Windows <laughs> server and that crashed. And my actual machine, uh, I rebooted that. Um, I could still reboot that, but. I lost the, the Linux server went down the, and, it, and it was the X runs it broke 
it had actually broken. Uh, when we look back and we you search through and we found the problem, it, it had nothing to do with the hackers. It had to do with bad audio clips, uh, creating loads of underruns and and breaking, basically. So that was one issue. The other issue was me and Sedumo were shouting at one another, going on and off one server, and basically between us, we broke it. Uh, we broke it. Um, I then lost my connection, uh, and uh, Sedumo, or yourself, Prizner, managed to get onto the Windows server then, and uh, I, I shut down and restarted everything uh, at this end. Um, that that was a hero Sudama who managed to get on the Windows Server. Yeah. He he's he's hot on that Windows Server. And when that when Linux plays up, I go and give it a stern talking to. But uh, <laughs> Sudama is pretty hot at picking up on the Windows side of things. So. Yeah, well, in all fairness to Sudama, he, he'd never done like this kind of stuff before, and he came in and he learned how to do the Windows Server, and he just got his head round it, and we went right, we're not using that anymore. We're using them, <laughs> and to be honest. Yeah. He's as, he's as good on the Linux server as he is on the Windows server, Brian. Ah, yeah. that was brilliant. I did some brilliant mixes, only I <laughs> forgot to put the volume slider across the other side. <laughs> so, you know, if anyone was listening on the non existent track on the other side that wasn't playing because the other one should have been, if the side had been in the right place, it was really good. It, it is a little bit convoluted, isn't it? It, it, it can happen that you don't notice some of the... It's like getting onto a fucking 747 in the cockpit there and seeing all these dials and... Can't that auto-switch? What stops it from auto-switch? Yeah, but then you don't need monkeys like us pressing buttons. <laughs> and things, so it's, it's not as live and living. Yeah. Uh, my little bane is the X-Runs. Um, I've had, we've had 300 X-Runs on, on, um, over this last couple of hours show we've done so something inside those last files that are there um, is causing X runs mm. so it's narrowing it down and removing them and removing them of course when we are we do get the new servers and we start off the new one and every, we're going to reinstall everything this is Dan's plan and I totally agree with it reinstall everything um, everything you know start from scratch and then we do the the, the image type thing, the, um, what do you call it? The, uh, uh, disk image. Yeah. No, no, the, the first one I was looking for. Distribution. distribution. So we'll do a distribution of it there at that point so we can whack it onto any machines we've got, which is like a backup as well for us. And then, and anyone can whack it onto any machine and become a, a dark city radio server? You've got it. <laughs> we like to call them devotees. <laughs> <It's> the thing, <laughs> the, this is the thing they said we couldn't do. Uh, at first, when we conceptualised it, it was like, well, can we do it for a lot less than what was being charged? And I've said all along, because we are where we are and the way the law is here is much different than the United States of America. Um, although we've had a lot of shit thrown at us from the previous station we were with, Revolution Radio, I really support what Nighthawk the owner of that station has done. Um, uh, it's a shame what's happened um, because he had a brilliant idea, and uh, yeah, and now it, it, it isn't what it wanted it to be. But that's not down to Nighthawk. That's down to literally um, what he's being asked. The guy is just doing what he can do with what's available, and uh, yeah, <laughs> that's kind of like become a. A monster in itself, but I wish them every success. I really do, and I have noticed that their numbers have almost doubled um, since we we weren't with them, um, you know, or we were with them. So you know, it's a great, great station. Um, but I stand on our principles, not mine, but our principles, um, and that is, you can't call yourself a free radio station if you're supporting the major advertising conglomerates or if you're accepting donations from um, a few individuals who've got their own agendas and, and ideologies um, I'm not going to mention too much on that but, but we, we have been offered support from some of the people who supported at Revolution Radio and, and, I, and I very kindly turned that down 
um, because of the religious persuasion. Um, it's got nothing to do with with that. That's not what it's about. I really want this to be as as free as uh, as we can. And then the other people who offered us more money and then threatened us. <laughs> this is in the early onset. And we are nothing to fear. There is nothing to fear. Uh, there really isn't. It's just a different idea. That's all. So, Robo, have you got something to say there? I, I did. I'll see if I can remember it. Um, I've just had a phone call. Somebody that's me front door, so I need to get back. I'll try and remember the question. Right, okay. That was Mr. Uh, Robo Hippie. Uh, I think he's got somebody at his front door and his phone's ringing and he's forgotten what he was going to say. So that sounds about right. That's the way right in the technical world. So, Chris, um, you had, um, we had a conversation, didn't we, about redundancy? Hello, mate. Yeah, um, I've spent my day making... Uh cannabis leaf bunting today for the 420 uh, celebration, our local 420. Uh, so a lot of card and a lot of printing really and if I'd have, I'm just, you know, having a little moan about the price of ink really and the price of printers and how they don't last long really. It's the built-in obsolescence of all these things um, around us and we kind of buy into this and I mean you've only got to go down your local tip and you see mounds and mounds and mounds of last year's printers and last year's computers. It's, it's, it's unreal the way we live and, the, and we don't need to live like this. I mean, we're moaning we haven't got enough money. There are ways of saving money. You don't have to keep replacing things. There are, you can repair them. You can um, do little hacks to make things last longer and make things cheaper. For example, the, the, the ink in my printer, I there's a YouTube video which I tuned into and learned how to um, juice up my printer with cheap ink and um, uh, resettable cartridges. And now instead of it costing me £30 for a set of cartridges, it now costs me, I don't know, 20 pence, 30 pence. So it's a big expense gone. And I, do, I do do a lot of printing. So yeah, it's just a bit of a gripe about everything that's uh, being thrown away, really. Have a look on YouTube, and anything that's broken, have a look. You, you, you probably can fix it. You probably can. You've probably got the tools around the, around the house to be able to fix it. Yeah, I've, um, the, this is the thing I liked about the, the Linux, that we could actually use basic entry-level uh, machines. Although we... we uh, the first one, obviously, we've said loads of times, is built out of the old mining computer we have. Um, um, but, you know, you, you know, we wanted stability. So, we tried to build one out of components that were donated to us. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> in, it, we, had, we ended up with some components, um, and we put it all together, and it was, it, we thought, it's great, but it was the motherboard had gone on that machine. So we got in a bit of a frenzy then, so we decided we'd go and get uh, another motherboard. And uh, then the memory was obsolete, so and then the processor was obsolete, so hey, psh, uh, but we bought a, a quite, quite a, a, an upgradable motherboard, but a basic motherboard and a minimum processor. Yeah. Uh, you know, so we put the Linux operating system on it now and it's like it's like the you know main machine with with windows 7 on it um, it's, it's yeah. fast it's quick yeah. it's, it's, you know so it is it's not i found i found laptops at the tip and there's they're still in their bag and it's like um you know a three or four year old laptop and no one wants it it's not worth a penny and i've given him you know i've given him a, a 50p for it and i've got taken it home put put ubuntu on it and it's a fantastic laptop it, it, Ubuntu makes old laptops run amazing. It makes them like run like brand new Windows. But but you know, we'd rather go out to the shops and spend five hundred pound on a new laptop. Uh, oh well, if you go to the shop now and bought a new laptop, it will have at least Windows Seven on it. Um, and the you, virus. You, yeah, 
Um, who will have Windows 7 on it? Uh, not all the time, of course, but, you know, High Street. Yeah. And you'll find that immediately there's not enough memory in the machine to actually run Windows 7, so it actually needs upgrading the moment you buy it. Blimey. So, in a lot of cases, people have got machines and, and, and they're struggling, and this is because they've reached the, the maximum upgrade um, on XP. So on, 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 let's say, Windows XP, they run really well. Uh, but what they've done is they've took the same machines now, perhaps changed the hard drives in them and put Windows 7 on them, and they're, they're struggling. So they're actually quite a slow Windows 7 machine, but quite a fast XP machine. So literally by stepping back, by moving back away from, you know, the, the current platform and moving back a little bit, uh, like downscale in the platform, you can actually speed up and end up with quite a, a good machine. Yeah, because you're, you're sort of rolling back the clock in their technology and their knowledge of, of what we do. To, uh, we find loopholes, you see, in their, in their systems and their technology. And then a year later, they find out and they close those loopholes. So you've only got to go back a couple of years technology and the loopholes are there. They're open again. Mm -hmm. The older technology. Yeah. yeah, but of course it's never supported in its components and parts, Chris, so that, that's the thing about it. You've got to keep them working, haven't you? That's, yeah, uh, you've that. got to have a little bit of know-how, but um, it doesn't take long to get a little bit of know-how. It's all there. So we've got the biggest encyclopedia in the world at our fingertips. Any yeah. bit of information you want about repairing or upgrading or hacking, anything. Yeah, wouldn't it be cool, man, if each of the little uh, servers um, that we had uh, had, a, had a little bit mine on the side of it, had a, had a terabyte drive in it, uh, and had um, each of the, the, the server owners personal collection of, of, uh, of topical uh, videos, documentaries, music. Um, so they can compile a, a, not only a radio, but uh, their own TV um, from each of the servers. Wow, I, I didn't know that was possible. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. This, 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 once we can do one, once we can do one, we should be able to do the other. Of course, it's um, you can do it now. There are, but again, you you were we're then back in the same game, Chris, where we're actually spending our time um, to promote Google or, or to promote uh, child pornography or to promote you know war, tyranny, murder, death. For, you know, all this, we don't hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. We don't we don't want to be channeling down to buy more stuff because we're all ugly and you need to have face cream and shampoo set things. You know, spend more crap on shit you don't need, you know, just over and over again to support an economy that just screws us every day. You know, if we're looking for an alternative, then you know we, we I suppose we have to at least have a go at it. Yeah. So yeah, YouTube um, we've ended up working for them. We've ended up working for you, too. It's like, right? They're going to work for us now, aren't they? Well, yeah, they are now. But, you know, just oh, the other stations who've come along to us, and there's been a few, um, and we've said to them, all right, and they've said, oh, we've got 90,000 trillion people watching us, and, and we go and have a look, and there's four. <laughs> you know? Who said? Who said? Who said? <laughs> Where are these no. researchers? Oh, that's all right. They're back there. <laughs> yeah, no, no need to look at the real figures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's We've got these other figures we made up over here. It makes us sound really good. And, and We've got this hat that we pulled a bit of paper out of. We want to support what you're doing here by doing it somewhere else and supporting something else. I mean, to me, it's just blatantly obvious. But again, it, we ended up slipping into the YouTube Google situation, you know, because of what? Of what? Because we wanted to play with our friends and because we didn't want to do the alternative, you know. It's weird, man. So they got pulled into that and we got pulled into it. Um, but like you say, we're going to change a few things there. Um, of course, if people want to do that, that's that's they can do it, of course. We want to make things available. But we don't want to make them available by supporting the very things that, that we're, we're, we're trying to you know, give an alternative to. It, it just seems ridiculous to me. It's contradictory. Um, so, yeah, we've had a few chats and the, the consensus would be like, 
put a little adverts up. Uh, we do support people who do torrents and with the MP3 downloads of our sites and stuff. So, and that'll free up loads of time. So yeah, um, we'll have loads of time then to be able to develop the, the the servers, to be able to get these mirrored drives done and these other machines sorted out. And <sighs> eat and sleep, maybe that might be nice as well. I must put them somewhere on the list. Um, so yeah. Well, I'm going to leave you now, Bob, because I've got to go and help someone. Okay, mate. Thanks for having, having me on the show. It's not my show. It's the Geek Show, man. But it's, uh, <laughs> thanks for filling Thank in. you, Geeks. Uh, geeks have got their heads in geeky things, I think, mostly tonight. There are a whole lot of geeks missing in action. I noticed that Phil's turned up in the chat because he's called himself Please Stand, and he distinguished himself, as did a couple more of our friends, by seeing it as just an invitation from the judge and uh, <clears throat> rather than an order. So, this, is, uh, this is a bit of a tangent. Phil, Phil's is, referring to the court case yesterday. It, Please stand. It, yeah. Anyway, Chris, you're going. <laughs> See you, love. <laughs> right, so go on. Prize. Now, oh. on. Thanks, Kelly. I, I think I've kind of got in then. That was a tangent to chat. Um, hello, Bob. Hello. Please stand. I do believe this is Phil in chat now. Thank you. It's all becoming quite quite clear. Quite <laughs> clear. Yeah. So, I, I was, Jim, uh, Robo Hippie, come on, mate. Yeah, right. I, I had a question. I had a question. Um, at some point, you turned the auto leveling on for the volume and stuff, and you was getting X runs. Now you've sorted all the files out, and it's getting less X runs or no X runs on good files. Yeah, does the DB gain thing make X runs? No. 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 Sweet. Uh, all, all the tags are back in, and I've set the gains. Now. So that's why we're getting. Uh, except for the occasional thing, which has got really low audio. Um, I don't know. I'm not quite sure how it works, but they're all back on again. Oh, brilliant, brilliant. Yeah, um, so we, we have now kind of got a, a, um, an higher audio on the music. I've noticed that. We may need to adjust it a little bit more, yeah. So, yeah, it, it's, it's, that side of it's working really well. I, I'm quite happy with that now, Jim, really. Uh, Internet DJ console. It's working all right. We could have done with more jingles. Um, the developer said that he'd done it. You could remove the uh, background music uh, and to reveal to, but it just doesn't seem to be where it is. So anyway, Willie Dan was was asking about that. Um, we were also, like I say, we would have liked it some form of scheduling, um, but he said he had no. Uh, ambition or intention to write that in, so that would be a shame. It would be a shame, but it won't won't stop it. And for the time being, it is working really well. I've, I've just my mate Steve's come round and he's brought his PC around because it wasn't very well, and they opened it up and thanks. You're welcome. I did tell you it, it, it has had a severe attack of fluff. Yeah. An extreme <laughs> fluff. Now, uh -huh. fluff in computers is not good. I recommend cleaning them or getting them clean. Um, I don't know if it had been arrested for the content of the fluff or not, but oh, yes. that was really dirty. Now. <laughs> right, yeah, I got most of that, but you, you need to kind of instruct you. Is it Steve, your friend Steve there, that it wobbling... Showing in the background don't really work. You have to get up to the microphone. Um, but yeah, um, it is a brilliant point, actually, Jim. The number of machines that thermal problems, thermal problems, don't matter what operating system you're using, um, they get hot and they break. So most of them, and the newer ones, have got thermal cutouts on them, but uh, even so, you need to uh, at least, especially in the UK, uh, you need, uh, uh, well, anywhere really, you need some kind of filtration on your machine. 
with a modern machine anyway, especially gaming machines. I will, uh, mine's like a little um, air conditioning unit in the corner. Great for propagating seeds on the top of stuff. So, anyway, we're getting towards the end of it again. Anybody want to chip anything in before we uh, we say goodnight this evening? Just clean out your fans at the very least of your can't fit on and filtration system. Clean out your fans through the, uh, your computer. Yeah, this is our advice for tonight. If you want to change the world, clean out your fans. <laughs> then your computer might keep going. Then you'll be in a position where you can kind of tell people about all this shit that's going on and even better tell them about all the creative things that are going on and all that kind of thing. So, you see, we're really being geeky with all this stuff, aren't we? Yeah, uh, Dawn's here. I don't know if she is or not. I haven't seen anything. That's why I didn't mention anything. Where she is, actually. I'm, he- I'm here. Oh. I've just been sitting quietly and letting everybody speak. Oh... We didn't even see any text or anything, Don. No, I joined the call. I thought that was enough to let you know that was here. Yeah. She's like that. She doesn't even say coo. Everyone's yeah. sitting there. Coo, coo. <laughs> <laughs> right. Excellent. Excellent stuff. Uh, Dark City Show. Um, it's your radio. Tell us what you want. And, uh, yeah, we'll do our best to uh, provide it for you. This is Vosto. There is no space between the lines of day and night. I wonder why the planet seems to move, although we don't desert this roof. The moon keeps on doing its cycles. While we love in man, the sun is alive. Surviving all disasters, space between the lines of day and night collide. The space between the lines of day and night collide. The space between the lines of day and night collide. Through light of day and dark of night. Sunset chill until the breath of dawn Through light of day and dark of night We move against the will of Those that will do us wrong The will of those that do us wrong. There is no space between the lines of day and night. I wonder why the planet seems to move, although we don't deserve this groove. The moon keeps on doing its cycles while we love in man. The sun is alive. Surviving all disasters, space between the lines of day and night collide. Space between the lines of day and night collide. The space between the lines of day and night collide. Through light of day and dark of night. Is a chill until the breath of dawn Through light of day and dark of night We move against the will of Those that would do us wrong Against the will of Those that would do us wrong There is no space between the lines of day and night I wonder why there is no space between the line No space between the lines of day and night I wonder why there is no 